Hey guys, I'm Lena Lex. I'm a Linode developer advocate, and today we're going to be looking at setting up a server for Rust using Linode. Rust is a really fun game, I've been enjoying it lately, and it's really easy to set up a server using Linode, so let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do is to log into our Linode account. If you don't already have one, then you're going to want to sign up. Don't forget, if you're new to Linode, you can get $100 of free credit for 60 days by clicking the link in the description. So once you're logged in, the first thing you're going to do is to head over to the Marketplace. In the Marketplace, you're going to see a list of different apps that you can set up using Linode. We're going to scroll down a little bit and towards the bottom, you're going to find Rust. So click on that and your options below will start with the Archon password. This is how you're going to log in to change your server settings, so keep track of that. Don't look at my password. Okay, you can look now. And then we have the server host name. This is gonna be public facing, so make sure that it's something that you want people to find your server using. We're gonna call it, this is Rust. And then you can type in your description, powered by Linode. We're gonna put, uh, this is a cool place to hang out. Just so people know what to expect when they click on the server. Then you can choose the maximum number of players at a time, uh, anywhere between 10 and 100. We're going to stick to 50. Uh, for the world, you have some options as well, but we're going to choose procedural map. World size, we're going to pick 3,000. I had to double check this, but for the seed, you can select any number between 1 to... 4 billion, 294 million, 967... 1,295. <laughs> so if you have a lucky number that falls under that, great. Put it in. We're going to stick to 666. Okay, great. Now, uh, global chat enabled. So this is, you can talk publicly to people. We'll say true. Player versus environment enabled. We'll say false for this. We're going to select the Ubuntu image. I think there's just one choice. Easy to pick between. I'm going to pick Toronto. That's the closest region to me. You pick whatever is closest to you on this list. Now, for our Linode plan, the best bet is to go with a dedicated CPU for this because you want it to be nice and smooth. Uh, we're going to go with dedicated 8 gigs. That should give us a nice experience for our server. This is if you want to give a label or tags to your Linode so that you can identify it on your dashboard. Um, we're going to just keep the defaults for now. Then we want to set the root password. So close your eyes again. Okay, you can look again. We now have our root password in. Uh, if you're familiar with SSH keys, you're welcome to put one in. If you're not familiar, you don't need one. You can just continue on to click Create Linode. Now, once this is created, you're gonna wanna wait about 12-ish, 15 minutes to make sure that it's all set up and ready to go before you try to log in because it can take a little bit of time and if you try to log in and it doesn't work, it might be confusing. But 12-ish minutes should probably be enough for you to continue on to the next step. So just take a little break, let it do its thing, and then come on back and get ready to start playing Rust. Once you've waited for your Linode to set up, you can now go to your dashboard, click the copy button on the IP address that you just set up, head over to Rust, click F1 on your keyboard, type in connect, space, the IP address, colon, and then the port number, which is 28015. Press enter and it will begin connecting. Press escape to close. And after waiting for a little while, you'll be connected to your server. Here we are on our server. We're sleeping. Press any key to wake up. So here we are on our brand new Rust server. Um, what are we going to do? We could do anything. I'm excited. Are we going to hit a tree? Maybe we will. Playing on the server for a while now. Uh, the one that I connected to, as have others. You can see we've started building things. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You can just go ahead, log in, and you're ready to go. If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's plenty more videos that we do to explain stuff like this in other apps and games. So hit that subscribe button for our future content. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy playing Rust, and we'll see you next time.